so it's 7.30 in the morning because we want to go to the changing guard. This is the breakfast situation in Wombats. So breakfast here is um, not included, it's four pine nutty pens. But we will make our breakfast because we still got a lot of cereals and stuff like that. So I'm sitting in the kitchen waiting for my mom for having breakfast and I pack up my data from yesterday from the video material. I already had a coffee. A little bit better now. Now I have, will have a tea. What a lovely morning! Morning. So this contains only. Uh, shredded wheat and it's 100% wheat like no sugar nothing else at all so it's quite healthy for cereals and my mom find, found this for the first time in Miami and now she found it again and she's really happy about it oh no she found it not in Miami she found it in Alaska so that is how many years ago 27 28 1982. How's the taste? It just tastes like it tasted the first time. So you're happy. We are on our way to the Buckingham Palace to see the guard change with the music parade. One tip, you should be there one hour earlier. It starts at 10.30. So right now it's 9 a.m. and we will be there one hour earlier. at the Buckingham Palace. There are already a lot of people waiting for the guard change.
After these hours of standing around and waiting for the guards, I got some chocolate bars who are typical British. So fudge is really typical British, it's a really sweet one, that's what a lecturer of mine told me. And from Cadbury, both of them are from the brand Cadbury, is Whisper. So, you want to try it too? Yeah. So this is Whisper. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that one is really good. Mm. Thumbs up for Whisper. And now we'll try the fudge. So my lecturer told me that this one is a real sweet one. And if you try it for the first time, you don't like it. But then it makes you addicted. I know you said that. Whisper tastes better. Mm -hmm. But this one is really interesting too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it, but the taste is really not natural. It's more chemical. <laughs> Case. Like some fruit taste, some kind of, but really unnatural. It's artificial. So there is some construction work going on on the Big Ben. So you can't see Big Ben at all. In the background you see the entrance for the House of Parliament for visitors. So if you ever come to London you can go in there and join one of the meetings of the British Parliament in this great building. Back there we have Westminster Abbey from the side that is not usual to show. Places like this, like close to the Thames, are like a short vacation from the big city life, from all the tourists around you. So if you want to relax, you can come here. If the tides are low, you can walk, have a small walk here. If the tides are high, you would take a bath standing here. Because the... And we arrived at the British Museum. I guess I'm not allowed to film in there. So back there is a Rosetta Stone that helps to translate Egyptian letters into our modern letters. Because there are three different languages and it's the same text who is um, transferred in the other languages. So I al always have seen this in history books in school. But there it is in real life cool stuff. This is a huge library room and look how huge these books are. It's crazy. Two hours later. I bought myself a Korean burger which is vegetarian or even vegan and this kind of drink which is made of grapes. I'm excited how it will taste.
the Korean burger was really tasty, but this grape uh, juice is way too sweet and doesn't taste good. Not really natural.